When you think of famous serial killers, it's usually people like Bundy or Gacy who first come to mind. But there is another person who will likely be added to their esteemed ranks, and he has killed more than the most famous serial killers combined. His name is Samuel Little. Samuel Little was born in Georgia in 1940, and it is believed he may have killed up to 90 people across more than a dozen states and three decades, making him one of the most prolific serial killers in US and world history. The case of Samuel Little and his confessions, it's still going on right now. So let's take a look at the background and history of Samuel Little. He's sitting with evil in its purest form, uh, but he came off like a grandfather. He told me, he said, well, God put me here to do this. Now Likely born to his mother in prison in 1940, Samuel Little, who often went by the name Samuel McDowell, then grew up with his grandmother in Lorain, Ohio. His first arrest was at the age of 16, on burglary charges. After serving time in a youth institution, he was released and, months later, arrested again for breaking and entering. In his late 20s, Little went to live with his mother in Florida and worked at the Dade County Department of Sanitation, and then, later, at a cemetery. Soon he began travelling more widely and had more run-ins with the law. Between 1971 and 1974, Little was arrested in eight states for crimes that included armed robbery, rape, theft, solicitation of a prostitute, shoplifting, DUI, aggravated assault on a police officer and fraud. He then took up boxing in prison. He was mostly homeless his whole life and was transient. And, well, that's how he committed most of his perhaps 90 murders. It is believed he killed perhaps up to 90 women between 1970 and 1982, and then from 1989 to 2005. Los Angeles cold case detectives caught up with Samuel Little in 2012. He was living in a Christian shelter in Kentucky, his latest arrest being only a few months earlier for possession of a crack pipe. But the investigators, they didn't care about that. You see, due to DNA evidence collected over the years, they wanted him for the murder of three women in 1989 in Los Angeles, who were found strangled and nude below the waist. Victims of what police concluded had been sexually motivated strangulations. Samuel Little has about a 100-page rap sheet detailing crimes in 24 states spread across 56 years, mostly assault, burglary, armed robbery, shoplifting, and drug violations. In that time, he served less than 10 years in prison, and it's astounding to think that he flew under the radar for so long with such a high number of victims. Los Angeles detectives say he was a serial killer who traveled the country preying on prostitutes, drug addicts, and troubled women. It started with the trial of Samuel Little for the murder of the three women. The trial began in September 2014 in Los Angeles. However, a few months later, Little began to be investigated for his involvement in dozens of murders committed in the 1980s some of which he was acquitted for at the time, reopening cold cases. On September 25th, 2014, Little was found guilty and was sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. On the day of the verdict, Little still continued to insist on his innocence. However, in the months that followed, Samuel began more confessions, admitting to more murders he committed, a lot more. Good evening. He may well be the most prolific serial killer in American history. Samuel Little sits in a Texas prison. Sitting in a Texas jail, 78-year-old Samuel Little, who the DA says confessed to killing Denise Christie brothers in Odessa in 1994. But that confession may be just one of many. 
He's confessed to over 90 uh, murders in this country. Major discovery. A man who may be the worst serial killer in U.S. history, Samuel Little, is already behind bars for murder, and now he says he killed around 90 people since the 1970s. One of the country's most prolific serial killers now linked to Southwest Florida. Tonight, the FBI is saying 78-year-old Samuel Little confessed to 90 murders stretching from California to Florida. Finding more victims, one of the country's most prolific serial killers now linked to Florida. New tonight, the new mission to see if he had any more victims in our own backyard. Well, he could be the most prolific serial killer in U.S. history, potentially tied to 90 murders. He provided investigators details on a multitude of murders he may have committed from 1970 to 2005 in Texas, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Louisiana, Illinois, Ohio, California, Indiana, Arizona, New Mexico, and South Carolina, and more. Investigators have positively linked him to up to 30 murders, but he claims to have killed up to 90 people in those years. Likely, Little will be identified as the killer in a huge number of cold cases hopefully giving the families some closure. It is absolutely horrific though that he was able to commit such a large number of murders over 30 years, never serving more than 10 years in prison and constantly flying under the radar of investigators. Only finally being caught in 2012 and then admitting to more murders. I feel the confessions will go on for quite some time. This is an ongoing case so definitely keep an eye out for what the 78-year-old will likely admit to over the coming months. I'm sure a lot more of his crimes will come to light and a lot more victims will be named. Thanks for watching. Mike out.